What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Today we are doing something that I used to do a lot. Now if you guys have been subscribed to my channel for more than two years or so, you guys are used to this. This is a classic tackle unboxing that I'm going to be doing today. It's something totally different. I understand totally if you guys watching that clicked on this video are like, Flair, this is whack. We just want to go see you go ice fishing or, you know, open water fishing in Texas or, or duck hunting. I understand. All right. I'm leaving tomorrow on a big hunting trip. It's going to be sick. But right now I got a big old box of lures that I want to share with you guys and show you what I got this See, I guess preparing for the 2018 season, but before that, you guys see this guy right here. You guys know what this is. This is the MTB Pro Box, and I'm going to be giving this guy away. I'm going to be giving it away at the end of this unboxing, so if you guys want to figure out how to win this, stay tuned until the end. But Mystery Tackle Box is sponsoring this video, so thank you very much, Mystery Tackle Box. If you guys want to try out your own Mystery Tackle Box, use this code right here. You get $10 off your very first box. If you guys don't know what Mystery Tackle Box is... You sign up for it, they send you this little box right here, or different boxes. They've got walleye boxes, panfish boxes, ice fishing boxes. they got a whole bunch of different boxes. They send it right to your house. And then you open it up, and uh, it's filled with baits. So I'm going to show you quickly, quickly what came in mind. We got some nice swim baits. We got a nice crank bait. We got a nice jointed swim bait, crank bait looking thing that looks like it's going to catch a giant muskie. And we got this little spinner there. And we got some swim bait hooks. So we got a few great things in this guy. Like I said, I'm going to be giving away those baits that you guys just saw right there. I will leave the link down below if you want to try out your own mystery tackle box. Like I said, make sure you use my code. You get $10 off. You get baits every single month. It's like Christmas every single month. I know Christmas just happened, guys. You know, the, the enjoyment that you guys felt on Christmas morning. Yeah, imagine that every single month. Click the link down below. Um, yeah, I'll be giving this all away at the end. But this... This is what, right here, you know, you guys see GoonSquad.com. It's not where I got these baits, but you guys should go there anyway. Right there. That's, that's what I got. It's $1,000 worth of fishing lures. And I'm not brag. I'm not saying, like, guys, look at me. I have $1,000 to spend on fishing lures. I know that's kind of absurd. But you guys have to understand, making fishing YouTube videos is, I guess, somewhat my job, believe it or not. I know I don't really understand how that all works out. But it is. It's, it's what, you know pays for this house that I'm in right now and pays for my trucks and pays for my boats and my fishing gear and everything. So this is pretty much just me gearing up for 2018. Um, not, not trying to say that I, you know, have a bunch of money spent on tackle because I really don't. This is what I've got. I'm going to show and I'm going to share with you guys what I got. This may come off as boring to you guys. Um, I don't know. Some of you guys enjoy this, so I want to make it. This video is for you. OG flare fishing fam members let's get into it i'm not sure what the best way to do this is so i'm just gonna i guess i'll just dump it all out well that was for sure not the best way to do that i can i can guarantee you that right now i half of it's on the floor i don't know why i'm making this video there you go now you guys can see a little bit more of what we've got to work with I don't know what the best way to do this is without making this like a 67 minute long video. So I'm just gonna go rapid fire and just kind of quickly show you there's gonna be duplicates. I mean, the thing is there's probably only, I don't know, not that many unique lures here. It's just a lot of doubles and triples of just baits that I throw on a regular basis. So I bought a whole bunch of them. So I'm gonna quit talking. I'm just gonna boom, 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 rapid fire. You guys are gonna have to pause it if you guys really wanna see what color the bait is or, or what it is exactly. Um, hope you guys enjoy. Starting off with the most important, Senkos. All of this right here, yeah, these are, uh, these are flipping baits, little creature baits. All the same kind. Those were, I bought a lot of them, obviously. I, I use them every once in a while. Oh, I forgot one there. Right here we got some uh, some lobsters and some craws and basically this all this right here those are all lobsters and craws. For those of you guys wondering, I know this I'm really struggling with this video. I don't know how I used to do this all the time. Right now I'm like this video sucks. There's nothing to it. You guys don't really care about all these freaking lures that I bought. Why am I making this video? I don't know. So I'm trying to figure out a way to make this somewhat useful to you guys. All those colors there, there's only two of them out of all those. There's black and blue, and there's green pumpkin. Sometimes like green pumpkin, red flake, or you know black with blue flake. But basically black and blue and green pumpkin are my go-to colors on soft plastics. Essentially those are the only two colors you need. Yes, I've used other colors that may work a little bit better than those two, but those are my go-to. So as you can see, I buy a lot of them because that's just any, anywhere I'm out in the country, I throw those. Right there, we got some chartreuse crankbaits, and uh, 
My finger's bleeding pretty bad. I just, just realized I got blood all over the packaging. But these little chartreuse square bills, one of, my, one of my favorite baits to throw. You guys have seen me catch a lot of fish on those. We got some sunfish crankbaits. They are little sunfish square bills. A couple more. And I got some of these guys, all, some, thin, some thinner crankbaits, some red, some chartreuse, some sexy shad looking colors, some more cross I didn't grab earlier. Hell, wait for this. This is one of my favorite parts. You guys ready for this? All right, I think this is it, but I got frogs. Lots and lots of frogs. You guys see me throw frogs all the time. So I got these guys. I got different ones. I got some regular ones. Regular. These are all regular. Got some popping ones as well. You guys see me throw this guy all the time and then some regular ones. So again, I just random, random combination of brands and colors. But in general, frogs, I just throw the natural colors, the browns and the greens. I, I mean, black works and white works, but just browns and greens. If it looks like a frog, the fish are probably going to bite it. Got another one there. Oh, and you guys know I uh, couldn't, I don't think I'm forgetting any more of them, but you guys know I couldn't forget the good old-fashioned Plop Daddy. You guys saw me wreck them this year on that. So we got a few more of those guys so I wouldn't, you know, wouldn't run out in, when I, in a time of need, let's put it that way. We got some good old 17-pound fluorocarbon line. Some more line. You know, Smalley season's coming up here in about nine months, so thank God I just bought a whole bunch of drop shot lures. Um, we got these guys here. These are all... These are all drop shot baits that I use for when I'm fishing for fishing for smallmouth. As far as colors go, they're super natural, like watermelons, magic colors. I think there's one something called a magic color. Um, those are my go-tos as far as drop shots go. Let's see, what else do we got? We got some more Senkos that I forgot about. We got some big big worms, you know, just some some mag mag trick worm looking things. I throw these on the Nico rig. As you guys see, I got the the weedless Nico hooks. Uh, more Nico hooks. Some, uh, the weights for the Nikos, more Nico hooks, more frogs. Got the, uh, the old bugs and, uh, some daddies. Just some, again, creature baits, guys. Just, there's green pumpkin and then there's black. What in God's name just happened? Well, I have no clue how that just happened, but yeah, I got a bunch of Nico hooks. I'm gonna quit talking about the Nico hooks. I got some trailer hooks for spinner baits, buzz baits, that kind of stuff. Um, we also got a bunch of Ned Rig stuff. You guys know me and the Ned Rig. We go way back. So, uh, we got some, some, uh, what do you call these things? Little floating Senko looking things. Bunch of Ned Rigs. I, you guys see me throw that thing all the time. So you can't have enough of them. Some more, more of those types of deals. What else do we got? We got some swim baits. Those are always important. I always go with three colors of swim baits. There it is. I go with black and blue. I go with green pumpkin. And I go with white. Those are for chatterbait trailers, swim jig trailers, that type of stuff. Those are your basic colors. That's pretty much all you need. You need to imitate a bluegill, and then black and blue for dirty water, and then shad with the white. And uh, let's see, I got some flipping baits here. More flipping baits. 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 As you guys know, I like to flip. More flipping baits. I'm almost done, guys. Actually, I got through this fairly quickly. Um, yeah, just green pumpkin, and then your black and blue, and then your black and blue, and then your green pumpkin. And then your green pumpkin, and your watermelon red, and your black and blue, and then like a craw color. So you guys, you guys see the, the trend here going on with just the basic the basic colors. Um, the, the old wacky rig tool. Did I buy three of these? Um, all right, well, I'm going to include this in one of the mystery tackle boxes because I really don't need three. I have no idea why I bought three of them. And then I don't want to bore you guys with this part, but I mean, I bought just a ton of hooks, ton of jig heads, tons of hooks. Uh, again, that's just all boring stuff. Yeah, some more more Ned Rig stuff. Um, we got some uh, burner worms. You guys can see there. These guys are interesting. You know, sometimes they're in the spawn. You bring them nice and slow with their beds. They they catch them. Uh, yeah, you see June bug, rain pumpkin, kind of the same thing. Um, yeah, again, I don't want to bore you with this stuff. I drop. Oh yeah, I dropped something. I dropped a jerk bait. Think out about one jerk bait because that's the first lure that I'm going to be throwing. Come uh, come ice out, and I only bought one, so not the smartest thing. I got. Some pliers, you guys know just the basic stuff. The rest is pretty much hooks. Some more crankbaits. You gotta have something like this, something to dye your baits, you know, dip and dye or some or a pen. I got flipping hooks, jigs. I got some why I don't know why I bought treble hooks, but I bought some treble hooks. That's pretty much it. Uh yeah, all these guys, these are all um Nico, Nico rigging weights. All these guys, Nico rigging weights, flipping hooks, jig heads, more just regular worm hooks. Okay, so we got through that fairly quickly. 
Um, I don't know if you guys enjoyed this video, but if you did, make sure you leave a like on this video. Um, and I guess I'll make more. I really, I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I struggled making this video. This was like, it's really, I don't know. I, I don't know how I used to do this. I used to do this all the time, and you guys found it entertaining. So if you guys did find it entertaining, let me know, and I guess I'll do them again. Personally, I think this video was really boring, but some of you OG flare fishing followers probably enjoyed it. You know, good old throwback with uh, just showing you guys what lures I bought. Hopefully, you guys could, you know, stay tuned until the end, because now, now is the time when I give away the good old-fashioned mystery tackle box. This is how you win. First off, you have to subscribe to this channel. If you're not subscribed, you won't win. Second off, you have to like this video. Just drop a nice little thumbs up for me. would really appreciate it. And lastly, leave a comment, and I'm going to pick a random comment down below to win. Um, I'm trying to think of what I should have you guys comment. I usually have you guys comment video suggestions, um, so let's go ahead and do that. Again, I love it because you guys give me all these wonderful ideas. What do you want me to do? Where do you want me to go? What do you want me to catch? What lures do you want me to use? Let me know. What do you want to see from me in 2018? What, what videos would you like to see? Like I said, where do you want me to go? What do you want me to do? Lures, techniques, tactics? Do you want me to... Do you guys want to see more tip videos? Do you want to see more of these unboxing videos? Do you just want to see the vlogs? Do you want do you want to only see fishing vlogs? Do you want to see hunting vlogs? Do you want to see camping vlogs? Survival vlogs? What do you guys want to see? Let me know in the comment section down below. That is how you enter to win the good old fashioned mystery tackle box. Thanks again to Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring this video. Like I said, if you guys want to try it out, use this code right here. You get $10 off your very first box. You get lure sent to you every single month. Just like what I did, you get these sent every single month. And, uh, and you go catch fish. So that's pretty much all I've got. Really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Peace.